Someone once said to me, Lionel, why on earth would you want to be a professional power walker? I said to them, I'll answer your question with another question. Where would we be if we couldn't walk? Then they said we'd still be crawling, wouldn't we, Lionel? But the question was actually supposed to be a rhetorical one, you know, like that one, if a tree falls in a woods, in a forest, and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? You know, the answer is obviously yes, it, it does, because we can like get a, a tape recorder and you know, and like record the noise of the tree falling over, you know, you like don't need anyone around to hear it. But um, perhaps I should have said to him, I'll answer your question with a rhetorical question. And then that way he wouldn't have answered back. Power walking is a really serious sport, you know, it's, um, it's, it's not simply walking powerfully. Um, some call it an art, um, others a science, but personally I like to use its um, historical <laughs> definition dating back to the early Greek power walking ages. A form of cardio preliminary exercise consisting of rapid walking accompanied by vigorous swinging of the arms. Hi, I'm Jamie Thompson and I've been Lionel's coach for the past 10 months. Before I came along, Lionel was a bit of a mess. I mean, he had the passion and determination, but he just didn't grasp any of the basics of power walking and his style. I mean, it was just all over the place. But thanks to my training, I've really been able to mould Lionel into a professional athlete. Jamie's been like a, a parent to me, a great role model, really. You know, but um, of course, Jamie's not actually my parent because um, Jamie's only two years older than me and <laughs> you can't have a child when you're two years of age. It's physically impossible. Isn't it? Being Lionel's girlfriend, I'm really supportive of him and his power walking. I mean, we're always out there. He's walking, I'm timing, having fun. So yeah, I just really want him to be really successful at his power walking because it's his dream. Yeah. What's my time? I don't know, I was filing my nails. <laughs> well, you didn't time me. Well, I've only got two more nails to do. Do you know what? I'm going to be the big person here, and I'm going to power walk away. Don't try and follow me, because you, you won't be able to catch me. Yeah, you know, I am a really supportive girlfriend. Just at the doctors to get my results, saying that I'm all fit and healthy for um, the National Power Walking Chance, which are in two months' time. <clears throat> Lionel Simmons, you can come in now. Good luck. <sighs> Lionel, I have some bad news. You have an ingrown toenail. You also have gangrene in your foot. Your first option, which I highly recommend, is that you chop your foot off. This will stop the gangrene from spreading. Your second option, which I don't recommend quite so highly, is that you leave your foot as it is in which case the gangrene will spread and you'll die of blood poisoning in about two months. I decided not to amputate my foot and as a result my doctor says that I'm in a, a critical condition. My father once said to me, son, when you find something you really love, that you would give anything to do, promise me that you won't stop until you're the best at it, I guess, and I found that something that I'm prepared to give my life for, and that something is power walking. So with my father's words in mind, I will cross the finish line first. <laughs>